You hear that? That's the awkward silence of a family dinner after you just got caught vaping. Most vapes contain high levels of nicotine and disappointment. <sighs> Brought to you by The Real Cost and the FDA. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, uh, dang, what was I going to talk about? I was going to, I was like, I had something like in mind and I got caught up looking at stuff on Twitter. And now I can't even think of what I'm going to talk about. Dang, that is messed up. That is seriously messed up. Let me, let me see real quick. Maybe I should talk about Madden. I feel like I should talk about Madden NFL 21, um, or just the Madden games in general because, uh, I think I think I did a video, but yeah, I I, I wanted to overall talk about uh, my history with um, Madden because that needs to be discussed. So, for those that don't know what Madden is, Madden is a football video game that has been getting released ever since I was a kid. Like they have not missed the year; they've always released a Madden game because it's it's the biggest football game. It's on, really it's the only football game that is out right now that people play. So. I personally feel like that EA uh, Games, the um, company that's behind Madden, they want to, I guess, try to remake the games from how it was back in the day, which is not bad. It's not. It's actually not a bad idea. Like if y'all were to come out with like, met, like games that was like Madden NFL 07, but I honestly feel like the only way that you guys can have a game compete with uh, one of the games from back in the day is if, because my favorite of all time was Madden NFL 07. And I personally believe that that was the best one. Maybe there was other ones that was better, but to me, that was the best one because that was my first Madden video game. And I had played that game so much. But the only way that they would be able to compete is if they were to remaster that Madden and were to re-release it. That would be the only way. That will honestly be the only way that they could compete. But any of the games today, it's just non... It's no. I personally don't like any of the Madden games today. So, here's the thing. I played, like... I've been playing Madden. I played Madden NFL 07. I played Madden NFL... I think it was either 12 or 13. Um, I think I did play 13. Uh, that one, it was like Madden 25, because I think they skipped it, like the Madden, um, like, yeah, because it was, they called it Madden 25, and that was like, I think it was the 2014, and then they came out with 15, 16, uh, I think I, I can't remember which one of those ones that I played, but I played, like, a crap ton of the Madden games, and it was Madden NFL 20 that did it for me. I could not play that game, and I'm actually going to work on a video just showing all of the glitches and all the problems I faced playing that game, because I personally just don't understand, like, how you guys, whether it's a whole year or a little, because honestly, you played, like, one of the Madden games, you would have thought that they had just started working on that game, like, the month prior, but they spend a whole year working on these games just for them to be trash. Like, the games are horrible. It shouldn't take somebody that doesn't... I know absolutely nothing about game development or none of that. But when it's coming from a long-time user of the Madden video games... Like, I've been playing these games since I was a child. I went from asking my parents for these, for these games to uh, going and buying the games myself. Like, I've experienced a whole, like, life with these games. So you would think throughout the time, as you become better as a person, a video game would become better as a video game. And yet, it's like, it's gotten worse. It has declined over the years. So, Madden NFL, so no, actually, no, no. Let, before I even get on to the latest Madden that's out, let me just tell you guys about all the problems I faced with Madden NFL 20. So, Madden NFL 20 comes out. First, they kind of, like, misled you and things. Like, I don't know. Maybe I got my information wrong, so I ain't going to hold that against them. I ain't going to put the blame on them for that. But they did say that you can create a character or something, you know? So I assumed, like, okay, like, create a character. I thought it was going to be, like, some Madden NFL 07 stuff, you know? Because in there, you create a character, choose your position, all of that. So I thought that that's what you overall was doing. 
but no they come up with the whole storyline for you so you don't get to play the position that you want to play unless you're like because me i'm like I, I i don't mind playing as a quarterback i actually like you know like playing the quarterback this time around i'm like yeah it's no um it's no problem it's no big deal but my preferred position is a running back i like yeah i like to do the running plays i don't like doing the uh quarterback plays or something i don't mind them it'll probably be like my second choice but i would prefer to do uh running plays or something so anyways um so i i, I wish they would have kind of explained that like you know maybe you said the set that a little bit more clear but it, it could have been my fault so like i said i ain't gonna hold that against them but when you're playing the game there shouldn't be like glitches because there is a few glitches that i had noticed when playing that game there was three glitches that really stood out so there was the one glitch where a player was like running towards a player that I threw the ball to and he like glitched closer to him to tackle him when have you seen that in an actual nfl game like i'm not talking video game but in an actual like you're turning you're turning to like channel 13 to watch uh the seahawks go up against uh the Steelers or something you turn to that when have you ever seen a player on live tv glitch he broke like the like i don't know he he just overall broke time i guess like that that would make sense but um he he somehow like defeated the laws of gravity there we go or maybe not that he just oh he defeated the laws of something to where he can teleport closer to another player and tackle them i've never seen that before on tv so i just assume like if y'all trying to make like a real authentic game it should be like some real authentic authentic tv stuff like some stuff that i'll watch on tv or something but not like where it's like bro what what's going like if you like that's i'm like how y'all need to start advertising your game like it has glitches it has problems so just bear with us as we fix it but when you release a game and you make it seem like it's 100 percent completed that game is not 100 um, percent completed if you're having to come out with updates every single time so that's i'm like no y'all need to do like how they do y'all just need to come out with a just a just a madden just come out with the game just called madden all right that needs to be like the last one that you guys um have for a while because what look look at uh grand theft auto all the updates and all the stuff that they had to do because that they're not releasing a grand theft auto every single year they released grand theft auto 5 what seven years ago dang it's crazy to think that but anyways yeah they released that game seven years ago and they have came out like you know they always like had fixed the issues and problems with it and stuff and yeah and it's a good game it's a game that i honestly would still play to this day that's why they're even re-releasing that game when the um when the next gen consoles come out so you got that and then with madden on the other hand and so but no that's what i was originally saying that they just need to come out with a madden that they are not like that that's like the one that you guys need to focus on you all need to release one every single year every single year and just like and people are wasting their money on them it's honestly, it's a waste when it's like, okay, you and it's like, you can't even transfer that stuff over. So I'm like, if I was able to maybe like transfer, because especially with Ultimate Team, I hate the fact that that's a thing where it's like, you can't even transfer your Ultimate Team over. Because like, you sit down and think about it, these um these uh companies that do that stuff, yeah, they're only, uh like, because if it's like a game like Call of Duty, then I'm like, okay, well, it's like different story, different, like, you know, developers and all that. Y'all are the same people. So you would think that, okay, well when it's like you know it's all within the same company it's not like a different company it's like you know how like they have like uh um i think it's like infinity wear or something like that and then they'll have Treyarch, and then i think there's another one so yeah they'll have like where those companies they work on like so it's kind of like in a way like two different games but it's like with you guys on the other hand it is one company so you would think that that stuff should just easily be transferred over but to speak on that to, i guess to speak on that real quick it's all about this gambling system that they have in the madden video games so for those that hadn't played madden in a while so madden has these gambling systems and they're pretty much called ultimate team they you know they have it where you built this big giant team you have to spend all these points you're not even really overall playing the game like if you do play the game the amount of time it'll take you to build the ultimate team that you want the next video game has already came out so you would literally have to play that game day and night, all right, for a whole year to just get the team that you want. 
And I'm like, that's nah, that's not, that's not fun. I'm like, yeah, or actually, you know, no, playing the game is fun. But the fact that you have it where it's like, oh, if you want like an easier way of getting them and it ain't even a guaranteed way. So it's kind of like a slot machine. So they have like the packs. Well, it's yeah, it's like oh, for you know, like when you go to Target and you get the little like Pokemon cards or the baseball cards or something, and you open them up, you're all like, oh, okay, like I got this guy or I got this Pokemon, or, I got this Yu-Gi-Oh card, whatever. So it's that. It's overall that, but in Madden. And so they'll have it where it's like you'll open up. So like, let's say for an example, you want to get like Tom Brady, Russell Wilson, Marshawn Lynch, um, Ron Gronkowski. Uh, um, who else? Where are some other good players? Like, you want, like, the good players, you know? So, let's say if you want, like, Russell Wilson, right? You will have to open up, like, a hundred packs before you get him. You would. And then if you want to just only just buy Russell Wilson, then you're going to have to, I think you can't even, I don't even know if you can buy the coins, because they have coins, and then they have points. And the points, I guess that's, like, a easier way of doing the gambling thing but then the coins it's like that's what you earn like when you play the game you literally earn nothing like there's like when you're playing that game and you're trying to get like all the coins and stuff or you're trying to get enough coins you're gonna have to play multiple multiple games a lot of games you can't just play like one two like maybe five games max and think that you're gonna get enough to get russell wilson because then they have like the betting system on there where it's like, oh, you got it, um, or the bidding, not betting, bidding system. So you got bid more than the other person to just get Russell Wilson. Next thing you know, all your coins and stuff, then, like, you know, you ain't lost them all. So that's, I'm like, bruh, that just makes the game, like, just unfun. Like, I just, I don't want to play a game that's like that. So, but no, back on Madden NFL 20. So there is that glitch where I say, because I, I just completely just got in, like, left field with them and stuff. But, um... There is that glitch where the guy, like, teleported closer to my teammate and stuff. Then there is the other glitch where I'm like, I don't even understand how something like that is even possible. Because I'm like, that name one time y'all seen that on TV. Where there is literally two of my players was running down the field. Both of them wide open. And I'm like, okay, dope. This is an easy touchdown. Threw the ball to one of them. The ball landed. Like, it wasn't even, it didn't even, like, completely land on them. But it was, like, hovering over them. And it was, I guess, supposed to be on their shoulders. But the ball didn't fall. It didn't, they didn't, like, go and grab the ball or anything. No. These guys, together, side by side, ran the ball all the way into the end zone and then out of bounds. Out of bounds. They didn't even grab the ball. You would think that... Okay, like, the computer would be able to, to detect, like, the ball is nearby. Let me turn around. They didn't even turn around to catch it. That's where I'm like, I don't understand how some... You think one time you've seen that on TV. Where two players managed to balance a football on their shoulders or have the football hover over them and they were, um, run all the way out of bounds. You, you show me one video where that's actually had happened. And then I'm like, oh, okay, well, then that's, that's where that came from. They're just making fun of those guys. But I've throughout the years, I've watched, because I've been watching football my whole life. I have a dad that's, like, heavily into sports. So I've been watching football my whole life. Not once I've ever seen something like that. And not once did my dad even talk about something like that ever happening. So then there's the one, the Pro Bowl um, glitch. So I had won the Pro Bowl. I did. We went into overtime. I won, I guess it wasn't meant for me to win the game. I guess I like defeated. I, I actually literally defeated the computer. And I, I guess I wasn't supposed to. So the game had froze. The game actually had froze. So I had did this play. I guess, I don't know. Maybe they wanted me to do a passing play or something. But I did this play where I was, um, So because you play as the quarterback. So I did the play where I ran in. And I scored the touchdown. And I did. And I won the game. And then all of a sudden, game freezes. The game had froze. So I exited out, come back. They had me start because we were in overtime. They had me start all the way from the beginning. At that point, I never wanted to play Madden again. At that, I was like, nah. That doesn't even make any sense how you win the game and the game freezes. How does that even, how does that even, I sh honestly though, I should find, because I'm positive that they got like a Madden subreddit. I should tell that story and find that video, Madden subreddit. There we go. And let's see if I can find my videos, Madden 
NFL 20. Not 320, 20. Uh, yeah, so I, I might I might be able to... Well, I'll probably have to like go to my channel and, um, and uh, go and find this. But anyways, yeah, I just don't understand how something like that is possible. When the game freezes, like, I won the game, and the game froze, and I had to start all over. So, at that point, I never played Madden again. And then, with this new Madden that has came out, Madden NFL 21, so they tried to be like, oh, yeah, so we're bringing, like, something that's, like, Madden, uh, Madden NFL Street, where, so they, years ago, they came out with these, uh, like, street um, versions of football and it was it was it was pretty cool. It was pretty dope. Why they won't do that? Why they won't release them like old classic games like NBA Street Volume Two or the um or I think it was the other basketball like street game or uh the like street like uh soccer or the street football games. Why they won't re-release those games? I don't know. But I guess they're trying to tie it all in with the Madden games. I'm like, bro, Madden sucks. The game nobody wants to play it. Nobody in this world wants to play unless it's some like kid that has no idea what's going on with the game but anybody that my age where you've been playing this game since you were a kid and you have seen nothing from this game like nothing they can provide like yeah it's like nah the game is just it's a horrible game it's a it's overall it's a, a very um horrible game but um what was i saying oh yeah so with this new madden that has came out so the users, the fans, because the um, it's like Metacritic. The if you go to that um, website, so if you go there, they gave it the the owners of the website has given it a sixty four out of one hundred or something like that. The fans has given it zero point four um, out of I don't even know if there was a number um, for them. They just it was overall a zero point four, and I'm like I ain't never seen that before. I'm like, bro, you know a game is bad when it gets a 0 0.4. Like, IGN, IGN gave it a 6 out of 10. Yeah. 0 0.3, bro. How is this even out of what? Overwhelming, overwhelmingly dis, dislike. Yeah. That's crazy. There's like 40. So, dang, that is wild. So, they said... Um, based over, so there's a like user review or user score 0 0.3, overwhelm, overwhelmingly, um, overwhelmingly, 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 whatever, dislike based on 2,106 ratings. So 40 people gave it a positive rating, 16 people gave it a uh, mixed rating. I'm pretty sure y'all know where the 2,000 is at. 2,050 negative ratings. This is going to get. This is from the guy. Uh, um, his name is Adam Johnson. This game is atrocious. Same game as Madden 20, which was a bad game. Franchise mode has been the same for years. All they added was pass rush moves and the yard. This game should be a six max. I'm giving it a zero because EA has ran out of excuses in my eyes. Do not buy. And uh, Shrek Nation, I think that's the person's name. They even called it an atrocious game. There's like an atrocious football simulation game. EA has greatly expanded the number of game modes in the Madden over the past couple of years. And at the detriment to the depth of immersion. They're using too many big words for no reason. Involved modes in the game. This game added no features to its already... And then make franchise mode, and it features many bugs upon release, such as rainbow colored coaches, players wearing the wrong color college jerseys, and FOTF, and blank fields that have no sidelines or hash marks, just to name very few select very select few. The yard um, serves only an excuse to monetize the game further. Face of the franchise has a pathetic, cringy story. Even Ultimate Team has an atrociously laggy menus that make it completely unbearable to endure. Many gameplay and AI flaws from previous titles that have continued into this one as well. You can only you can only get so much fun from such a broken game. Please do not give EA sixty dollars or more for this poor effort. And then Game Tim, he said. 
Same game, but actually worse. Gameplay is trash and scripted. The only thing this game cares about are microtransactions. Spend your money elsewhere. Exactly. That's all that they, th um, that they care about. And it's like, bro, do you not understand that when people buy your games, they want to play it. They don't want to spend more money. They already had spent $60 on this game. I don't think people, I don't think they realize, like, not everybody that plays your game are YouTubers. Even YouTubers don't want to be a part of that no more. Notice how any of the FIFA YouTubers, the Madden YouTubers, the NBA 2K YouTubers, they are not even a part of the community no more. It's seriously a new wave of people. It's a new wave of people that these guys literally can focus on. And it's like, eventually, they're going to uh, want to leave. They're not going to want to be a part of it anymore. And they don't realize that. They, they seriously do not realize that. And it's like... All right, well, it's just going to get to a point in time where nobody's going to play your games from the YouTubers to the fans. A lot of people, I guess, because, no, what was it? I think it was NBA 2K. They tried to have it where it's like, oh, let's get, like, the OG YouTubers involved in things. So, yeah, let's call them out, have them where they're featured in this game, pay them some money and stuff to uh, overall keep their mouth shut about how bad the game is and things. But I'm like, no, nah, you guys got to understand, like, the YouTubers are going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, because they're getting paid. They're all like, oh, yeah, this game's fun. This game's cool and stuff. But when it comes down to the fans, they're going to be the ones that says, yeah, this game is horrible. It got to the point where Madden, they were literally doing this, like, free promo code thing. Or, like, oh, retweet this. Because they were trying to do, like, some, like, Twitter giveaway um, stuff with a bunch of different people. So there's, like, uh, yeah, if, um, when Madden came, I think it came out today. But there's, like, uh, oh, yeah, uh, retweet this. Favorite this tweet, you can win a chance of getting uh, Madden and something. I'm like, bro, no. The game is horrible. I don't want the game for free. That's I'm like, you know a game is that bad when you don't want the game for free. When y'all come out with a five-star uh, Madden, then come talk to me. But until then, if nothing, they just honestly, though, they just need to sell the Madden name and go uh, give it to somebody else. There's actually this football game that came out. And it's a, it's a fun, like, arcade football game called Gridiron. I made a video on that game. And, yeah, it's uh, it's better than Madden. It's a lot better than Madden. So go spend your money on that. Um, but, yeah, don't don't spend your money on Madden. Madden is a trash game, and them guys don't care about nobody besides themselves and making money. So, anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe. Have it set up. If you're purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code TMOSBOSS. It will knock $20 off your first purchase. And if you're purchasing any gear from Vasilo, make sure you guys use my promo code TMOSBOSS and it'll knock 10% off your next purchase. Uh, I have an ad on my YouTube channel um, that you guys can find. Uh, it's actually, yeah, it's my um, trailer on my main on my main channel, TMOS Boss. But you can click on any of um, the descriptions of my gaming videos and on my main um, channel, the videos on that. You'll find, like, the referral link and the promo code for Vasilo. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching and or listening, and peace.